What's going on guys? Jones and Dogs here and bang! Welcome back to the town guys. I'm here with the little goodie here. This is the Hubson H111 Nano Q4. Now it says world's smallest quadcopter. I know it says that right? Patent pending. But we already know that uh, that's already not true anymore. This guy came out a few years ago but uh, there's so many other ones and there's so many smaller ones. I think I got a few smaller ones than this. This guy is tiny. Don't get me wrong. I am zoomed in on the camera, but this guy is tiny. Oh, by the way, check it out. I am in my little RC cave. I like to call this the RC cave. You know what I'm saying? I got a little bit of everything around here. RC remotes, drones, stuff like that, man. I need to, uh, I need to get it all organized, and uh, one day I'll give you guys a tour. I got stuff everywhere. <laughs> Forgive me. You know what I'm saying? Drone stuff everywhere, but, uh, yeah, this is the RC cave, man, where oh, well, all goes down. You might find drone body parts. You might find drones, RC cars. You never know what you might find around here, you know. But uh, I'll get it organized one day and give you guys a tour. But right now, man, we're checking out the um, the Hubson H111 Q4, man. We're going to uh, get this guy out of the box. I got this guy off Amazon really cheap. It was like under 20 bucks. We're going to get this guy out of the box, see what comes in the box, and uh, take this guy for a quick fly. You know how we rock, man. We're gonna do it. We're, we're gonna do it in the uh, RCK. What you think about that? Quick flight in the RCK, man. We'll do it. We'll do it. It's raining outside, anyways, man. It's raining outside. We're gonna do it in the RCK, man. Let me get this guy so here. Here we have the contents of the got box, guys. Excuse me. Everything is pretty simple, man. Nothing too much to go over. You have your uh, pretty well detailed instruction, man. You will go over that if you are not familiar with quadcopters. You have the quadcopter itself, and it's pretty tiny. Uh, let me let me do a size rest reference for you guys let's here's a double a battery bam right next to it bam can you see it now you see it now you nah, nah, huh, yeah there it is bam all up in your finesse all up in your grizzle so you know the battery is dang near bigger in length than a quadcopter so it's a tiny little quadcopter but it's not the world's smallest but it's tiny here's the little transmitter itself and it's ah, not altitude hold no spring loaded throttle stick um, pressing in on the right joystick, um, this one, this one here, pressing in the right joystick will, um, give you guys the rates from beginner to expert rate. Um, pressing in on this joystick, I believe, will execute the flips, I believe. I haven't really even looked at the, uh, directions, as you can see they're right there, unscathed. Bam! But, uh, yeah, I believe pressing in on this will, uh, execute the flips, but we'll see. And uh, you got the traditional trim buttons. There's no bumper buttons on this guy. Here's your charger for this guy. It's a little dongle or a little end that you stick on the back of the you stick on the back of the quadcopter. It's a little piece there. You see that little piece there? You stick it on the back of that. So yeah, pretty simple, man. Shouldn't be too hard to fly this little Nano. It's the Nano Q4, man. It's the Nano Q4. We're gonna check it out, man. So let me uh, get this guy all charged up, and we'll be ready for flight. Yes, sir. Apologize guys got wrapped up doing a few things So we're not gonna be flying in the uh, RC cave. We're gonna just go ahead and fly in the living room really quickly So I got the H111 on gonna do it automatically binds it seems like so you turn on the quad It has an on and off switch underneath and then it automatically binds and we're just gonna go up So yeah, here it is. First rate. Here it is, first rate. We're just gonna fly it around first rate here. First rate is not too bad indoors. I've been trying to get this guy to flip. Now, in the direction it says that pressing in on a right stick is flips. But, um, it doesn't seem to do that. It seems that pressing in on the right stick is our rate. So unless I got to hold in on the right stick, I'll try to hold in. No, that doesn't do anything. Let's try pressing. Nope. No, nothing. So I can't get this guy to flip anyways, but two beeps. So now we're in a medium rate, and this guy has three rates. This is the medium rate. Here's our yaw and a medium rate right here. Check it out. Pretty fast, y'all, for a medium rate, y'all. Especially on a little guy. Here's forward flight. 
You got blue LEDs in the front, you got red in the back, you got white props in the front, you got red props in the back. So very nice for orientation on this little guy. Very, pretty sure it'd be a nice night flight. You know, I like the night flights. So it, it moves around really nice in the second rate. Let's try uh, the third rate. That's three beeps and that's pressing in on the right joystick. Look at that. Oh, wow. Look at the yaw. You guys see that yaw? And this third rate is crazy. Very fast yaw. Look at that. That's crazy. Third rate yaw is crazy on this guy. Look at that. That's a fast yaw for a little nano guy like this. Fourth flight and the third rate, it is very fast. You gotta be careful you don't wanna bump into no walls with this third rate. Cause this guy does get, look at that. Woo! Woo! Had to throw the brakes on real quick with that. I'm gonna go down to the second rate, which is the medium rate, which is what I like for this guy. Cause it got, it got kinda fast in that third rate. Now we're in a neck mount, so hopefully you guys can see this guy. Let's get a close up to you guys. Can I get a close up all up in your fitness? Can I get it all up in your grizzle real quick? Can I get that? Can I get that all up in your fitness? I'm not sure. Is it coming up? The blue, the blue lighting up. And this is just a tiny little guy, man. It's basically just a battery on a uh, 3D printed frame is what this guy is. Like I said, I can't figure out how to get this guy to flip. So I'm just, I ain't gonna be tuckering with it too much. And just fly this guy around. And it's not too bad for a nano. I'm trying to keep it in sight of the camera. I'm wearing my neck mount. There's our flashing lights. Not sure how long of an LVC we're in. We'll fly it for a minute just to see if it's one of them quick LVCs. I got a feeling that it's got a premature LVC on this guy. Some of these little nanos have that premature LVC where you still get about another minute or so of flight with it. Look at this, yeah. So yeah, this is not a bad one. This guy was like 20 bucks, probably underneath 20 bucks, I believe. Sometimes you can catch it underneath 20 bucks. It's been out for a while. This is that Hubson H111 Q4 Nano. Not a bad one, yeah. It's got a nice long LVC one. I'll say about another minute. Once the lights start flashing, you got about another minute of flight with this guy before you got to really actually land it. So it gives you plenty of time to bring it in. If you was uh, if you was to have this guy far, but I don't think you should have this guy far anyways. But I, I like it for what it is. I wasn't able to get the flips going, but hey, I liked it. The Hubson H111. Appreciate you guys for watching. I'm your boy Drones of Dog. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bam, bam.